Um, I uh, I met you about five at Colette House about f yeah four and a half years ago or so, um, just briefly. Uh, but yeah, it was a two day yeah. a two day session. I think that was kind of my first experience of you, and I I didn't really get it. I, I found it all yeah I found it all uh, I thought yeah didn't really understand the questions didn't really understand the answers. Uh, I don't actually remember the meditations. <laughs> um, and I didn't really know anybody there. And yeah, I left thinking, you know, feeling a bit disappointed that I just... <laughs> well, spent. something must have happened because here you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm back, I'm back. And I, I, I've listened to you a lot. I was away for a couple of months recently. Uh, I just took a couple of months uh, uh, traveling and I listened to you a lot. Um, my, my challenge is I, I, find, I find these sessions sometimes, uh, often I think, I just, I don't know what, yeah, again, I don't know what people are asking and I don't know what you're, what you're explaining. <laughs> and I, get, I guess I have a concern that on Friday I'll leave with a, maybe a similar experience to how four and a half years ago and yeah I'm just wondering if you've got any uh, or just how to how to navigate that for I just just sort of think what oh yeah what was that question and you know I don't know <laughs> it's like often actually when I hear people asking the questions uh, I want I want to fast because they're five or six or ten minutes long. I want to fast forward most of the question and just hear what you have to say back to them. And but then you want to fast forward my answers, presumably <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's all right. The, the meeting will be over in ten minutes, Mara. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I, I deliberated long and hard about actually asking. Yeah, no, it's, it's good that you've asked it. I'm glad you've asked it today and not not, not next Friday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Maris, wh wh where shall we start? Um, can you can you give me an example of? something that I've said that you don't understand? Uh, Anything, and in a meditation? Or? Um, when you talk about the finite and then the, the infinite. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And... Yeah, and dream, dream, dream states. Okay, no, let, let's, let's just do one. one. <laughs> the finite and the infinite, that, that's enough to be... Yeah. Um, well, finite means limited, and limited means it, it's, it, it um, begins and ends, it starts and stops. Um, so a thought, a feeling, a sensation. By sensation, I use the word sensation very, very, for, for those of you that are here for the first time, very specifically. Sensation is the way we feel the body. Perception is the way we experience the world. So a sensation, your hand on the mic is a sensation. A headache is a sensation. The feeling of hunger is a sensation. Your feet on the floor is a sensation. Uh, pain is a sensation. Pleasure is a sensation. Um, any other examples? Uh, um, I think you, you uh, thirst, the temperature of your air on your skin. These are sensations. They're the way we feel the body. Perceptions are the way we experience the world. Sights, sounds, tastes, textures and smells. Oh, that, that's just... So, your thoughts are limited. Limited and finite, I use the words synonymously. Your thoughts are limited, they start and stop. Your feelings, sensations, the hand on your mic, take your hand off the mic, change, change, the, change your hands over, that's in. One sensation's ended, another one's begun. Sensations are limited. Your perception of the world, close your eyes, that... The sight of the world has just come to an end. Now open your eyes. A new sight has just begun. Now you're listening to the sound of my voice. Now the sound of my voice has disappeared. Now it's begun again. All, all, all this is finite experience, limited experience. And all experience, thoughts, images, feelings, sensations, perceptions, actions, relations, all experience is finite and limited. So it is there... 
and, and everything we experience through the mind. And by the mind, I, I mean thinking and perceiving, or thinking, sensing and perceiving. Everything we experience through the mind is limited. And the mind is like a pair of glasses that we look through. We look at the world through perception. And our glasses are limited and therefore our experience of the world is limited. But is, is there an experience that is not limited? So, uh, I su suggest, well, I suggest that there is an experience, and that the experience of being. Do you, do you understand what I mean by the experience of being? Are, are you now having the experience of being? Yeah, I think I get that. Or I know, I know I'm aware. Okay, do, 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 you, do you find it easy when I talk about awareness or being? Mm, awareness. Awareness, okay. <laughs> so... You are aware of your experience now. You are aware of thoughts, feelings, sensations and perceptions. And all of those are limited or finite. Mm -hmm. But you're also having the experience of being aware. Yeah, Not being aware of anything, just the experience of being aware. Tell us about that experience. Try and describe it. F f from your current experience. Nothing fancy, nothing spiritual. Just your, How would you describe the experience of being aware? It's difficult, but try. I, I am. Okay, t that's good. Tell us, tell us more about it. T can you can you try to try to describe that experience to someone that's never had it? It's not possible, but imagine that someone didn't have the, ex the experience of being, the experience I am. How would you describe it to them? I mean, I've, I've, I've. No, no, don't, don't go back to what I've said. You just do, do you, in this moment, you are now having the experience that you refer to when you say "I am." You can say from your experience, "I am." Yeah. Yeah. So you are experiencing being. I am. Tell us about it. It's difficult, but try. Try to say something that's true about it. I'm going to back up a little bit. Tell us about that experience of your hand on the mic. Uh, it's uh, it's hard. Perfect. One other one other thing. It's got a a weight to it. Okay, very good. Tell us about uh, your experience of the, your your feet on the floor. Yeah, I can feel a little tingle. Okay, tell us about the sight of this room. I can see a blue velvet curtain. Okay, and, uh, tell us a memory. I can. Uh, yeah, I remember losing a jacket. Okay, in the tell us about or tell us about a relationship. Uh, Any relationship? Yeah, um, I've got three brothers. Okay, and tell us about an activity that you engage in sometimes. Uh, play Scrabble. Perfect. Okay, you you didn't have much difficulty telling us about any of those things. No. Okay, now tell us about the experience of being. That's it. That's it. Why did you find it so easy to tell us about your thoughts, sensations, perceptions, activities and relationships? Because there's something there, objective, mm. finite, to, something to see or perceive or feel. Or, and it's easy. It's cold. It's hard. It's lonely. It, it. Then when I ask you, in, ex in exactly the same way, just... Describe your thoughts, describe your feelings, describe your sensations, describe your perceptions, your activities, your relationships, describe being. You answered immediately all of those things. And when I asked you to describe the experience of being, you just fall silent. Why? Why couldn't you describe it? Because it's indescribable. Why is it indescribable? You're right, but why is it indescribable? Why, why was it so easy to describe the content of your experience, your thoughts, the sensation? Why, why was that so easy? Because there was always something there, objective, to describe the blue colour, the hard mic, the tingling sensation. Why couldn't you describe the experience of being? Although you 
acknowledge you are having the experience of being, you are aware of being, why do you just fall silent when you try to describe it? You're absolutely right. Your answer, your silent answer was the best description you could have given. You're spot on, but I want to know why. I want you to know why. I don't, I don't know how to answer that, really. Okay. But it, it's very good that you don't even know how to answer why you don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's good, it's very good. Because there's, ab although you are undoubtedly having the experience of being, there's nothing objective there. You can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't taste it, you can't smell it, you can't think of it, you can't... There's nothing objective there, there's nothing finite there. I was just thinking, it's because it's infinite. <laughs> Exactly. Now, r while you were trying, I, we could tell, we could all tell that when I asked you about your, the hand on your mic, you went to the experience of the hand on your mic, simply. When I asked you about your feet on the floor, you just went to the sensation of your feet on the floor. You, when you went to your relationship, you went to your three puzzles. You just went there at each... When I asked you about your being, it was clear to all of us that you went there. You were just aware of being, not, that, not some fancy, extraordinary, spiritual, mystical... Just the most simple, obvious, intimate, familiar experience there is. Just the experience of being. The awareness of being. And you tried to describe it, and, and, you, and you couldn't. Because, it, because whilst it is undoubtedly your experience, there's nothing objective there to describe. There's nothing finite there. You were experiencing your infinite being. But when we hear infinite being, we think, oh, infinite being, that sounds, that sounds really special. <laughs> I don't experience I, that, that. That's just for one in a few enlightened, special people that lived several hundred years ago in caves and, 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 and weren't really human. And, and I couldn't possibly experience infinite being. But you were experiencing then you, your being, it, it, it's infinite nature. Infinite just means not limited. It, it's not, it doesn't mean, it's nothing, there's nothing mystical, there's no, nothing spiritual. There's nothing spiritual about anything we say here. We're, we're, not, we're not talking about spiritual matters here, we're just talking about our ordinary, everyday experience. It's, so you see the distinction between the finite and the infinite. The finite, and your hand on the mic, your thoughts, your relationships, your actions. Your... But the infinite is, is just the nature of your being. I think you understand more than you let on. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're, you're doing exactly the right thing. You hear something and you think, that doesn't make sense. And you, so then, you are, instead of just feeling frustrated and... and you just think, okay, ask about it. You, 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 you talk about the infinite, I know nothing about the infinite. Five minutes later, you're telling us about your experience of being, your being as infinite, it, that you're doing exactly the right thing. You, you listen to something, you check it in your experience, doesn't make sense, you ask a question about it, we do an experiment, and you come to, to understand what, what just ten minutes ago you didn't understand. Just, just keep doing that all week. Okay, you'll probably hear from me again then. Good. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> okay, time for dinner. Thank you. Thank you.